Well, good morning. The tree behind me is a tree I was in yesterday. It's right over there. I'm up in one of the chestnut oaks this morning because this got a little bit better cover. That little spike yesterday kept looking up at me, so I think this looks good. I, I should also get a better shot to my left where where I tried to shoot that doe yesterday. I have a little bit better openings now that I'm in this tree. Just got busted by that buck. Well, I checked the radar and the, the rain's going to keep getting heavier, so I'm going to climb down. It's about 10 o'clock right now. Uh, I w I'd like to scout around, but I left my rain gear in the truck and I left my keys in the truck too, so I'm going to have to use some devices to get it out of there to get, my, to get back in my truck. I think I'm going to go grab lunch with Adrian and then we'll see how everybody else di uh, did this morning. I'm not sure if I'll hunt this evening because it's supposed to rain pretty hard all afternoon, but I might at least drive around and do some scouting. Well, I've been driving around kind of checking some fields and I got out and walked around in one spot and um, just kind of scouting around from the truck because it's been raining all day and it's not going to stop raining, but I got the rain gear and I'm pulled up at this spot where I'm gonna give a shot. I've uh, fall turkey hunted here a couple times and always saw good deer sign, always saw good buck sign in here. And there's a couple little drainages coming out into a lake and I'm gonna be probably not hunting right by the water, but I'm gonna start by the edge of the water and work my way up those drainages and try to find deer trails. It's gonna be hard to find fresh tracks with it raining all day, but I think I should be able to find something. And of course, I'll be looking for acorns. I'll see y'all in the tree. Well, there's a slough behind me that has a bunch of tracks crossing it and uh, a bunch of thicket up to my left, good bedding cover. Uh, 
a little open spot here with a few oaks. It looks all right. We'll see if we see anything this evening. Well, it's about sunset right now. I think I'm gonna call it. I've been rained on long enough. Uh, I would like to get out to the field and uh, see if I can lay eyes on some deer before it gets dark. So I'm gonna climb down now and try to get out there before dark and see if I can at least see something. Hey, you don't drive a Hummer anymore. Yeah. It's a growler. I actually think it sounds good. Huh? It sounds good. When you, like <laughs> from outside. Let me loud. start it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got everything just about dried out. I'm gonna repack the backpack and go back where I was yesterday, except I'm gonna hunt the field where I parked or hunt right off the field because I blew like eight deer out of there last night coming out of the woods in the rain. And so I basically wasted a bunch of effort going way back in there when I should have hunted right by the truck. So that's what I'm going to be doing. We still got a little rain in the forecast. It's just starting to rain now, but hopefully it won't be too bad. Well, here goes nothing. Well, I just got to the field where I parked yesterday afternoon. I'm gonna be hunting this side of it because there was a couple deer over there that came out of that end. Um, but over on the other end where I walked in yesterday, there's a group of toms. In turkey season's open, I have to use a bow, of course, but uh, I might just have the perfect terrain advantage to sneak up on those birds. So I'm gonna give that a shot real quick. And uh, if that doesn't work out, we'll just get right back into where I'm gonna hunt and find a tree. Well, the turkey stalk was not a success. I think it was my fault for moving a little too much at the wrong time, and the hen picked me out. They were coming to me, and that hen got a little funky, and they started going another way, and then I just couldn't keep up with them. They actually split up, and I don't know where most of them went. I know t three of them, the hen and two toms, went off in the woods further down, and I don't know where the rest went. But anyway, we're gonna kill a deer now. Uh, this is the corner of the field here. There's the lake. Now, if I go this way, there's a cove, and there should be a good funnel that'll funnel the deer out. I don't know exactly where they'll come out into the field, but if they're, as long as they're not bedded right here, if they are, I'm gonna blow them out of here, but if they're bedded farther back down, like I hope they are, then they'll have to come around that cove to come out in the field, and I should get a good shot. So let's go back there and pick a tree. Making sure there's no dead tree limbs over me. It's windy. Brandon had to leave camp because the water quit working at his house, so he's not going to get to hunt this evening or tomorrow, unfortunately. But he texted everybody who is at camp, and uh, I just got the text from him. He said the deer are moving in the fields right now, so I was afraid they were going to come out a little later tonight, but that's a good sign. play my game tonight. Um, I'm gonna climb down as quick as possible so I can at least kind of see the field when I get back to the truck, see if there are any deer out there. 
Well, it's too dark to see the whole field, but there's nothing immediately around me. I bet there's deer on the other side of the field, but I can't see from here. I'll make a game plan for the morning, and I'll see y'all soon. All right, I'm gonna go hunt a spot this morning that I scouted back during the summertime. I just bumped deer. My boat's over there. I just got on the on the ground, and there's deer in here. I'm on a really good trail, actually. Those deer came back while I was still getting set up. And my bow is still on the ground. That doe, I don't think she ever saw me. She's been super nosy. It's kind of a good start in the morning. At least I had some deer up close right, right off the bat. It's about quarter till 10, and I'm pretty sure those does are not coming back this way for a minute. I'm not sure if they bedded down on the other end of the island or if they left. I'm gonna climb down and look for buck sign and, and just deer sign in general. Well, I just flushed a dang wood duck right here, and the does were bedded up here on the other side of this river cane, and they ran off. They could swim to the mainland or to another island, but I bet they're still in these woods, probably running circles. I'm on the other end of the island now. The mainland is behind me and the deer were bedded in this river cane, but they ran back out uh, towards where I was set up this morning. So they're not wanting to leave the island. It's at least a doe and a fawn or two does or a doe and two fawns. Or I'm gonna ease on back down to the other end of the island and look for buck sign. I just bumped them again. It's three deer. Three does, or maybe one of them's a fawn. I couldn't tell, but there's three of them. They ran on down to the far end. That's really fresh. Well, I pushed those does around and found that one fresh rub. There's a lot of old rubs and some pretty good ones, but only one fresh one. And I'm gonna get back to the boat and, um, I'll be getting back after him here soon. All right, I'm not gonna take the boat out this afternoon. Uh, I can't start the outboard. It will appear my fairly new starting battery doesn't hold any juice anymore. So I'm gonna have to take it to AutoZone soon, fix that another time. I'm checking the spot that looks good on Onyx. It looks like a little patch of bedding up near a fishing spot or something. And we got some bean fields here that's got a little greenery coming up in them. Just jumped a deer off the bed. 10 yards inside the wood line so that's not something I could have set up on but there there's a deer there's definitely deer here it looks pretty good but I'm not getting that good feeling about it so I'm gonna leave all right I looked at the time and it's pushing three o'clock so I'm not gonna scout anymore I'm gonna go over to this corner of the field where I was stalking turkeys yesterday and I'm going to set up where I think is going to be a good spot to catch deer coming out to this field. There's a rub, another rub, 
a couple other little rubs, some old rubs. Well, I got my camera arm set up, backpack hung, bow is ready. These turkeys are still scratching at 35 yards. Unfortunately, it looks like all hens and poults, a lot of Jake poults, but not a beard in sight, so I probably won't be shooting any tonight. Bird's got a beard. He's legal. Well, for a second there, it looked like they were coming, about to come right up under me. In typical turkey fashion, they went the other way. Uh, I was ready. I had my bow in my hand. I was, I was ready. Deer just blew in the field behind me. There it goes. Just ran in the woods down there. Well, it slipped out somewhere down there. I've been concerned my wind is swirling back into the woods, but it must have caught my wind out there. Which is good. Not good, but means the wind is going that way. So, it's only one deer. There's more in here. Hopefully, something better happens. Same doe from earlier or another doe came out where uh, that doe ran in. Probably about 60, 70 yards out. Well, that's going to be a wrap. Wish I had an extra day uh, to camp out, but I got to go back and break camp as quick as possible and head home. Um, this will probably be the last deer camp for a while. I'd like to get out and do one more trip at the end of season, maybe in January, but that's all still in the works. Um, hope you all enjoyed. I'll be back in the woods soon, so I will catch you all next time. Thanks for watching.